Hello, this is the CRT Productions, this is a YouTube video, and in this video, I'm going to spare you the utter joy of seeing my ugly mug by going back to this more simple format of video, and um, I wanted to discuss in this video, again, our good old friend Windows 7. Uh, now, Windows 7 is now, of course, unsupported. Today is January 20th. 2020, and um, when an operating system, when a Windows operating system more specifically, goes unsupported, all we ever hear is, of course, it isn't safe. Why shouldn't you use it anymore? It isn't safe. What's wrong with it? It isn't safe anymore. What exactly does that mean? How unsafe is Windows 7? Well, I have this little wireless mouse here that is absolutely impossible to turn on so uh, I'm gonna do a jump cut turn that on and uh, we're gonna take a look at uh, take a look at uh, what I just said so how safe is Windows 7 here in 2020 well basically it's not too complicated it's not that safe but I'm gonna tell you why it's not that safe so Windows 10 and Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 um, have Windows Defender built into them. Windows Defender is a pretty good antivirus program. Um, you really don't need anything on top of that, but of course I know uh, a lot of people install another antivirus on top of it, and then they still manage to get it. viruses on their computer, funny enough. So for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, Microsoft had this program called um, what is it? Microsoft Security Essentials. And essentially, what that was, was something they made until 2016, and it's not supported anymore, but it's essentially Windows Defender for Windows 7 and Windows Vista, um, which did not come with a antivirus program built into them. But unfortunately, Microsoft Security Essentials is no longer supported, and... Um, you can no longer download it from their website. So what the heck is an antivirus program anyway, though? Well, we got to think about that for a second, because antivirus program isn't really going to help you on Windows 7 anymore. Microsoft has a list of uh, antivirus software providers for Windows, and you can see they have Windows 7 selected here, um, and they have a nice list here. Well, they even have prevention, huh? Well, that's that's quite nice, but anyway, they have a nice list there of um, antivirus programs that you can download for Windows 7. But antivirus programs aren't really going to help on Windows 7 anymore, unfortunately. But really, all that an antivirus program is designed to do is to prevent you from downloading um, programs from the internet that have been identified as potentially malicious or um, suspicious and uh, they automatically da uh, delete the program from your computer after you've downloaded it. So if you do find yourself on funny download websites, as I like to call them, like Brothersoft and Softonic, um, you know, and you download one of those weird files, an antivirus program most of the time is gonna recognize that and delete it automatically and it's not going to be on your computer anymore can't do any damage to you and you're completely safe on Windows 7 then but let's say you find a file somehow that they haven't found um, if you have up-to-date virus definitions on your computer um, that shouldn't happen but in the case that it does and you find a file on the internet that the antivirus program hasn't identified yet and you install that program, it would infect your computer. And uh, that's because, of course, you don't get the latest um, security patches from Microsoft. So uh, I've been waiting for a minute here for Brothersoft to load, but apparently it won't even load. I guess it knows what, what I'm doing here. It, it won't even load Brothersoft for me. Uh, and never mind that, I guess. Let's try Soft Tonic. Uh, that's usually a pretty bad uh, offender in this category. Soft tonic, they will actually load at least. That's good, I guess, or bad. However you look at it, 
Uh, in this situation, I'd say it's bad because Softonic does have a lot of funny software. It has a lot of legitimate software on it as well. But anyway, like VLC, but you know, of course, it'll uh, show you legitimate software. You don't know if these files are safe or not, and I would recommend not really. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Vice City, Roblox. Aren't these like games that you have to pay for? Um, anyway, that's weird, but yeah, I don't recommend going to Soft Tonic and downloading anything. Um, if you're downloading things generally, you're going to be downloading from official websites. Like if you wanted to download Google Chrome, I would go to google.com slash chrome or whatever the URL is. You get the point. Don't download funny, weird um, stuff from the internet. Essentially, you just want to make sure that uh, you keep off of the funny download websites. And if you're not getting the virus on your computer in the first place, you can't get infected by it. Essentially, it's like this. Your computer is as safe as you are on the internet. If you go on the uh, internet, as I've just demonstrated, and go willy-nilly on the downloading websites and download the hotbabes.mp4.exe, then, uh, you know, you're just asking for it, essentially. And uh, even on Windows 10, if you're really a really careless internet user, um, I'm sure you could still find a way to infect that. Um, if you're on Windows 7, you're at greater risk of getting infected by a virus. But if you're not an idiot, uh, as most of you out there are, or wait, I mean that to say you're mostly not, most of you aren't idiots, Never mind. Anyway, if you're not an idiot, then you could still use Windows 7. Alright, if you really want to continue using Windows 7, in my opinion, you could. But, um, you didn't hear that from me. So if you go off and you download something funny from Brothersoft and you get infected with a virus, you didn't hear any of this from me. So, I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope, uh, it was somewhat useful to you. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you today. We'll try to get that mouse turned off and uh, get this thing turned off and uh, get this thing turned off too, actually.